She Savage is an entrepreneur at heart with a passion for creating things both with her hands and her mind. She believes that constant learning is the key to giving meaning to everything in life. And she joins us now. How are you today? I'm fine. So can you tell us just a little bit about your business idea and how it actually came about? Well, um, how it came about was um, I, I had actually got sick um, and um I had pneumonia and it scarred my lungs because I always was an entrepreneur, always had businesses like janitorial services, things like that nature. And I couldn't do that any longer because I couldn't be around large, uh, loud smells and things like that. And I can't move too much in, around anymore because uh, it scarred my lungs and I got uh, oxygen. So I had to come up with something and do something that I love and I could be creative with. Yeah. So. I said, okay, let's let's check out making shirts. Let's check out doing different stuff and things like that. And then when I found Shopify, uh, they was doing the one dollar for three months. And I said, well, that's a, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let me check this out. And then somebody they was telling me about Fiverr. Then they told me about niches. And I said, I want a niche that's not oversaturated. I want something that is unique. You know, yeah. And when I saw gadgets, I just said, "That's it." And for a lot of people, running their own business is the dream, isn't it? Because you get to yes. work whenever you want. I mean, I guess there's the downside of work is maybe not necessarily guaranteed. But for you, do you find that it's a great life to have, and you would rather have it than being employed? Yeah, I, I would definitely rather work for myself than uh, being employed because. I'm getting little money and I have to do what someone else tells me to do, be there when someone else tells me to be there, opposed to my own time frame and my own rules and things like that. I think that that works better for me. And how do you balance the creative side of running a business and the administration and maybe all the boring stuff? I guess I would have to say that uh, the way I would ma I manage things is, is pretty much I try not to do things that are repetitious because that is boring. And anything I, I am excited about doing, I'm never bored with. I always want to learn more and more and go further. And that's what's made me an entrepreneur um, since I was like, 12 years old and I just always had the ambition and stuff to have my own and 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 make my own small empire as I call it you know so it's never really boring unless you make it boring so I try to keep it so interesting by doing many different aspects of the um, field of uh, entrepreneurship like if I don't know something I'll study it write essays on it until I know it backwards forwards and stuff like that because I love learning. And all the boring stuff, you would be doing that all the time if you were employed, wouldn't you? Right. Yes. Yes. And then you have to hear everybody drama. Yeah. There's too much drama in the workplace anymore. And and nowadays you can't even go to the workplace without somebody trying to fight you or somebody yeah. trying to shoot you. One of the two. I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I suppose the downside of that is that if you're working for yourself as a sole trader, you don't have yeah. any colleagues. So do you find it quite isolating or are you the kind of person that actually prefers to work on their own? Yeah, I, I prefer to, to work on my own. I, I've, I've always been like a hands-on type of person. And so when I work on my own, I, I don't know. It just seems like I can get more stuff done than working with somebody else. Yeah. It, it feels like that. So, did you always have a passion and talent for creating art in general that helped you with this business? Yes. Yes. And stuff when I was like 10. And um, I draw and that, that, and I do also do other things. Like I, I put designs on shirts, uh, shoes, things like that nature. Uh, I mean, I just like like uh, the creative side of everything. Like, like if it's not like I, I, if I get bored with anything or something like that, it's time to move on because I mean, I'm just bumping my head and stuff like that because I, because I've learned over the years that I'm the type of person that easy things tend to be harder for me than complicated things. Complicated things I get like like zero to nothing. Like I, it's just it just comes to me. Yeah. Uh, but simple things I find it like some um, like average people or whatever they can't really they have to figure out how to 
come to me and, and, and talk to me or something like that. They tell me because it, it's hard to talk to me. I said, no, it's not. It's just hard for you to understand where, what I'm saying. And I have to break it down. It's not the fact that you have to break it down. It's the fact that I do. So, you know what I mean? So that's what makes it hard. Yeah. You know? But I mean, I'm the built the way I am because God gave me these talents and my spirit, it has awoken. So therefore they're coming out of me. All these, all these nits and and candies and everything I've ever done in my life, as far as jobs and stuff like that, I apply to a business. That's a common thing, actually, finding easy stuff hard and hard stuff easy because maybe we overthink the easy stuff. You think so? I, I, I I don't know. I've, I've became like, I do a little bit of counseling to um, individuals on, on the uh, aspects of uh, the Bible and like God and stuff like that. Like, what's happening in a person's life today and what the Bible says about it and what, how to address those issues, you know? So I, I, I deal and dabble in a lot of different aspects of life. You know, it's not just one aspect that, that calls me to me and things like that. So I kind of over extenuate myself, but, uh, but I feel good when I'm doing that. I feel, I feel alive. You know what I mean? And a lot of people like see that as, running away from something or doing something. But when I was in business school, um, I actually stopped going to business school because my um, professor asked me to stay after class. And he said, you know, you can help out a whole bunch because you know that people go to school half their life just to have an inkling of what you were born with. Like, I just know business. I don't know. It, it, I've ne- it, I don't even have to ever have done it. And I know how to write a business plan for it. I know how to set it up. I know how to boom. And that's the benefit of working for yourself, actually. You know how to do stuff. You don't need a qualification to show to somebody that you have studied. And I, I thought you could do it, right. Because I was a business, uh, an entrepre- actually an, an entrepreneurial consultant uh, for a little while, uh, helping people write business plan, grant proposals, doing things things like that for their businesses and uh, writing their business plans and um, getting them everything set up for what they need for their different businesses. You see what I mean? So it's not just one particular business that if I'm interested in and I know how to do, no, anybody can give me a business. I can find anything with it to start with a a little bit of money and get a high yield. I've always been good at, I'm I'm good at it. I'm good at it. If I'm good at something, I'm good at it. And, you know, I apply that to my life. And what would you say it is that makes your business different from similar ones? Because the idea of creating T-shirts online seems to be a very popular business idea. Yeah, but I'm not, I don't create T-shirts online. I do, I do that. Um, I do that. See, I have my gadget store on, on online. Yeah. That's with all the different, different techno, techno, technology, new technology coming out and stuff like that. As far as like the wrist, uh, watch phone with a clear plate, the, yeah. um, yeah, just like a lot of electronic stuff that I deal with online. I have a peddler's license where on the weekends I go and up on the corners and I sit and sell my other items like my shirts and my I, my stuff and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't I don't have that online. I don't want it online. I'd rather do that personally cuz that gets me to know the people and what they actually like and what what designs they actually, you know, I can get into it and take notes and find out what they are looking for as as far as a style of wear for them, you know. But yeah, other than that, my gadget store is, is what I have on, on Shopify online. Yeah. Do you have any further business ideas that you're thinking of starting, or is it all top secret? <laughs> it's not all top top secret. <laughs> I'm 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 actually a. Um, inventor so i i have these inventions and um, i'm dealing with some companies right now that uh, are very interested in things like that so uh to 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 stay to to be continued you know what i mean yeah. like i'm 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 coming like i'm, I'm bringing everything out, the, out out of me that that god gave me to to bring out and apparently it's working out pretty well for me so therefore i'm gonna keep doing it i never saw myself as an inventor but apparently i got some great ideas hey? yeah <laughs> So so hopefully you guys will see me out there somewhere. Hopefully. Well, where are we able to find your business and keep up to date with you? That's at uh, uh, reduxgadgets.com. 
that's my website. And then um, I do have a YouTube channel and things like that. But I put all that stuff out on social on all my social media. Um, but it, it, you can find everything that you need on my website. I'm, I'm also setting up a, like a blog and, and stuff to be attached and everything, too. So, I mean, like I said, it's practically pretty new, my store and stuff like that. Like, it's like about maybe a month and a half in, two months. But great things are happening. Well, many thanks for talking to us today. It's been great to have you on. All right. And, and it's been a pleasure. It's been really a pleasure uh, speaking with you.